Well, hello to all good people of the world. This is Paul Whittakin returning back to you today with the Universal Law of Numbers and uh, continuing my studies here at the University of the Universe for those of you who are interested. And what I'm doing here is I'm continuing my presentation of the Fibonacci numbers as they relate to phi because I find that it has a very interesting correlation. Just one second. Okay, back. I forgot to fill in the stupid thing. But anyway, what, we're, uh, what I'm describing is a relationship that the universal law of numbers gives us uh, that is found in the Fibonacci code and it's found within the relationship of the Fibonacci code to Phi, and it's just the same uh, sequences, which I refer to as codes, found in here. We will find them throughout nature. Anywhere there's a, a system describing nature, we will uh, see uh, appear before us the 369 code in the form of things like 248751. So those are the 248751 numbers. So anyway, what we're doing is we're starting at zero, and I'm going to go pl plus one, two, three, four of them. And then I'm going to uh, just go from there. And I made a dot to make it easy. And it's going to go zero, three, three, nine, six, six, nine. So that's the distinguishing feature of the Fibonacci code with relationship to the uh, universal law of numbers, and it has all of the other codes as well. But these sequences, they go to, on to infinity. Phi goes to infinity, phi goes to infinity, uh, you know, Fibonacci to infinity, and what I believe that represents is the expansion of the universe, and uh, if you were to catch up and get right to the to the next one, you would already be way too late because it's gone on and it's moving at the speed of light. However, that aside, <laughs> that aside, all we're going to do today is explore and see if we see any correlation between the universal law of numbers codes, the Fibonacci sequence, and its relationship to phi, and I hope you do see some because uh, that's what I'm doing here. So if we go here, we get three, well, three, three, nine, six, six, nine. Very good. So uh, we know that if we divide the Fibonacci number by the uh, Fibonacci number that precedes it, it will give us uh, a value that's uh, somewhat equivalent to phi. And the further we go down, for instance, uh, you know, 21 over 13 will give us a, a number that's a, a fine number, but 15 over 987 will give us a more accurate one, whereas uh, 46,368 over 28,657 will give us a, a, a number that even closer approaches uh, a more exact value of phi. So uh, I, one, would expect to see that relationship also manifest itself uh, doing it using the universal law of numbers, as it does. So here we have three, and we would divide it by the number that precedes it, which would be three over two. Actually, since we're starting here, it's not zero. It's not one over zero anyway. We're not even there yet. OK, but. We see 3 over 2, the next 3 goes 3 over 4, the next one is 9 over 8, the next one is 6 over 7, the next one is 6 over 5, the next one is 9 over 1, and then it's going to continue and it will be 3 over 2 again. Uh, maybe I have not written that there, but that sequence will continue like that to infinity. And uh, the only thing about it is it won't 
start here, it, it can't because zero, obviously, it, this number is getting bigger and, and uh, zero will never reappear again. And zero will uh, have its own, will manifest itself uh, in a little bit of a different way. And I can see why, what that, uh, that's where it's going to manifest itself in all reality. So, uh, okay, 3 over 2 is 1.5, 3 over 4 is 0.75, 9 over 8, 1.125, 6 over 7. When you divide a number uh, when, uh, by 7, you will get the uh, 248751 code because it will be 248751 in those six different fashions. This 857142, it's 248751 code, it's going to carry on in that sequence to infinity. Uh, it's like a wild card, it's like a joker because we know we can make three six nines out of 248751 and we know we can make two, a four, a one, a seven, a five, and eight. So it's going to be any number and in fact if these numbers like uh, phi, etc. are expanding with the universe, so the next number here would be 8, and then that 8 would be followed by 5, and that 5 would be followed by 7, uh, you know, and that will continue on forever. So if we reduce those numbers, we're going to get 6, 3, 9, uh, the universal law of numbers, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 3, 6, 9 code, and then 3, 9, 6. That will continue on forever. I can reduce these fractions a different way, of course. Three and two, I just look at the numbers. I don't look where they are. I'm just looking at the numbers. That's a five, seven, eight, four, two, nine. Now, um, that's the two, four, eight, seven, five, one code, but we have a nine because we started at a zero and the zero will have to turn into a one. Uh, eventually, just like it is here, one five seven eight four two. Uh, one five seven eight four two two four eight seven five one. Now that one uh, is uh, a nine. Uh, anyway, that's the intricacies uh, of the universal law of numbers, and we see that we have basically the universal law of numbers codes appearing uh, in these different formats, fashions, forms, uh, but it's always the same numbers. Uh, 258, 147, 248751, 669, 339, 396, you know, because 339 is also 396, uh, 669 is also 693, because it will do that. And uh, moving on, 